Hello. This is a butter churn. It was made by the Standard Churn Company in the mid-1940s. This churn is rather nice. It's got the tulip-shaped glass. It's all original, has a lot of original paint, and the wood is also in very nice condition. Uh, you'll notice it's operated by a hand crank through two gears, and then it rotates the paddles. And this is what agitates the cream, um, turning it into butter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make some butter for you, and that'll be what we're having with dinner tonight. We use heavy whipping cream to make the butter, and there's a what we have. There's a fill line here, so the churn somewhat comes with directions. Okay, so now we have two quarts of heavy whipping cream in the churn. Put the top on. And we'll give her a go. So this is how we're going to be spending the next half hour or so. The goal is to crank at 90 RPMs. 90 RPMs. Optimally, we want to crank at 90 RPMs. Is it butter yet? My arm's getting tired. This is outside my job description. What time is it? This is fun. Okay, yeah, here we are about uh, eight minutes in, and it's already thick. You know, we've got, uh, it's turned with cream, and now we've gone beyond with cream, now it's, oh yeah, we've got like lumps, lumps of stuff. Oh, way cool. Oh well, keep going. I can see how it's now turning into lumpy junk <laughs> and liquid. Lumpy junk and liquid is what we have. Okay, we're just about finished here. Um, the contents of the jar, you can, it's like globs of butter and a lot of buttermilk. So what we do next is we pour off the buttermilk and we'll use that later for making waffles or some bread or for drinking. Okay, this is our buttermilk. So now we have a churn full of butter and we have some buttermilk. Let's give this buttermilk a try. Um, it's a little bit different than the stuff that you buy in the grocery store. It smells like milk. It tastes like milk. Really, I see no appeal at all in having buttermilk or, or any other kind of milk. Um, we'll save it for kittens and children. Now that we've drained off the buttermilk, we have a jar full of butter. So what we need to do, we need to wash the butter. We'll take it out and put it in this bowl. Smells like butter. How about that? Okay, now we've washed the butter sufficiently to get most of the buttermilk out of it. So We'll separate it one more time. And now I'll work the butter, the water will separate, and that makes the butter smoother and 
helps it keep longer. We're going to add some salt. Um, we like our butter salted. And generally, you add about uh, one teaspoon per pound of butter. We have oh, about, a little bit over two, two pounds of butter here. So now we'll work this in as well and finish driving out all the butter. Now that the butter's finished, we want to put it into containers for refrigeration. And once it's in these rectangular containers and sets up, we'll be able to take it out and cut it into regular sticks of butter. This little one, we're going to save that for dinner tonight. It's going to go good on my cornbread. That's it. We're done.